what is going on guys welcome to guitar lessons with Scott I'm Scott and in this video we're going to continue our guitar music theory journey and we're going to take a look at the G major scale so something I didn't um so just going to show you kind of what we're doing is we're we're pretty much we are going through the circle of fifths. So in the first video we looked at the C major scale, we looked at where it is on the guitar, we looked at, um, we, we saw that there's no sharps and no flats and we and we learned how the, this, uh, the major and minor chords are built off the C major scale specifically. And so we kinda um, did, we went over pretty much the basics for the C and now we're going to go to the G, and we're going to look at the same basics for the G. And in the following videos, I'll go over DNA at the same time and EMB at the same time. But, but yeah, so in this video, we're going to look at the G in the same way. Um, and also, there might be a lot of you that just want to jump ahead, and you just are like, I just want to learn chord progression. I just want to understand the pentatonic scale and modes and stuff like that um, but it's really uh, a good idea to to learn the basics first so um, I'd highly recommend doing that but yeah let's jump into the G major scale and we'll take a look on the guitar to see where it is and how we're gonna play so in the last video we went over the C major scale. So we went, you know, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. All right there. Hopefully you've been practicing that and are comfortable playing that exact finger pattern. Um, pattern with your fingers. Because <laughs> we're gonna do the same exact, see the same exact. Um, Thing, we're just gonna move it up, up, up a note, to, um, up a string to the G note. So, the C major scale we started on a C note, right here. And the G major we're gonna start on a G note, which is right here, right above it. And we're gonna do the same exact, same exact thing. So, so you, you start, you know, on the. This note right here, you go middle to pinky, pointer, middle, pinky, pointer, ring, pinky. Okay, so practice playing that. Okay, once you're like, okay, I can play that. Cool. Getting comfortable with it. Come back to the video, and now we're gonna, um, now we need to practice is, you know, saying the notes that you're playing. Uh, you know, not looking down, maybe you have the G major scale written down in front of you, not looking at your fingers. Where are your fingers? What notes are, your, what notes are your fingers playing? Paying attention to each note you're playing. So, if we're looking here, we see G to A, B, C, D, sharp because remember E and F are right next to each other so E to F sharp G so the G major scale is G A B C D E F sharp G so pause the video practice identify playing paying attention to the notes you're playing once you've done that once you have done that, we can write down. Um, if you have a music theory binder, highly recommend or a notebook. You know, write down, write down the G major scale. So you got G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Underneath, write num Roman numerals: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to one. Okay, so write that down so you have your G major scale. Have a whole page just for the G major scale. 
And then, you know, underneath, um, you can write again, one, three, five is a major chord. You can write chord if you like. One, three, flat, five. One, three, flat, five is a minor chord. Um, so, once you have that all written down, we can, and you know, you practice the G major scale, and, um, and you're kind of getting comfortable with that, so, once you've done all that, let's go ahead and take a look at what is a G major chord, okay? So, let's go back down to the guitar. So, we have the G major scale right here, right? G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And it's saying that 1, 3, 5 is a G major chord. So, 1, 3, and 5. Right there, right? So we got G, B, and D. And if you have it written down, G, 1, 3, 5 is G, B, and D. So that's another kind of thing, to, a way to think about it. I don't know if I've ever said, but you can think of this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, back to 1. That's what we're looking at, too. Um, so yeah, so we have G, B, D. So it's saying that G, B, and D um, creates a G major chord. So so if we have a, this is a, a full G major chord right here. You got your ringing pinky on the bottom, two strings on third, third fret, middle on the top, and then your pointer finger on the second fret, second top string, hitting that B note. Okay, so let's take a look at the top three strings. All right, so we got these three right here. What notes are we playing? All right, that's a G, right? Yeah. Go E, F, G. That's a A, B. So we got G, B, and then we're hitting an open D. G, B, and D. That's a G major chord right there, those three. Those three guys make a G major chord. If we put those, if we play the whole chord, What's every single note we're playing? We got G, B, D. That's another G. That's a D. And that's another G. D, G, G. It's just all the same notes repeating over itself for a fuller G chord. That's how the G major chord is built off the G major scale. All right. So now let's take a look at the minor. All right. So we have one, three, flat, five. One, three, flat, five. So what are we going to do? We're going to take G, B, and D. We're going to flat the third, which is the B. So we're going to just put a flat right next to the B. So we got G, B, flat, D. All right, so we got G, G, B, D right here. We flat the B, we just drop it half a step. G, B, flat, D. That's a G minor chord. It's very similar to the C minor. G minor. Sounds kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, so that's technically a G minor chord. Not a popular way to play G minor, no. So the bar chord for the G major chord is all the way up here with your ring finger pressing down on the 12th and your pointer hitting this second to top string on the 10th fret. This ring finger's holding down those three notes. What are those? What are those three notes? We got D, G, and B. D, G, and B make a G major chord, right? So those three technically make a G major chord. Um, and if you have your 
pointer finger right there. Put a better sound in chord. Um, chord, that's another G right there. Okay? And if you flat the B, which is right here, to got your G minor. So yeah, that is the G major scale. That's how the major and minor chords are built off the G major scale. So the most important thing to practice is just going to the G major scale and going G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, okay? That's the most important thing to practice, is just playing the scale and identifying the notes. That's, that's the very basics um, of, of, you know, that's really getting your basics down for the circle of fifths and circle of fourths. And once you have your basics down, everything's a lot easier. And then it just gets really fun, you learn a lot more fun stuff. So, um, I think that's all I got for you today. Uh, you know, I always recommend, you know, just just playing it, identifying those notes, um, and yeah, well, we'll go over more on the next video, we'll go over, we'll go over DNA in the next video, and we'll probably look at maybe a, a chord or two more, and then we'll go over those two guys in the video after that, and then we'll be pretty much done with the circle of fists. Um, but yeah, so just keep on practicing. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Practice, love yourself, adios.